All right, welcome to the Spa Social Beat. I am here with my Post With Purpose business partner, Danielle. And today we have another social media tip for you. We're talking about marketing with Messenger, with your DMs in general. So whether that's on Facebook or Instagram, how do you get your clients into your DMs, which has just been growing as a phenomenal strategy that's working incredibly well, really in the past, I would say, year, year and a half. We've seen a lot of a lot of great success with that. So what's what's the strategy there? Yeah. So I would say I'll kind of speak to Facebook and Instagram separately because if I'm looking just at Facebook, you can set up your page and your profile to have the message button up at the top so that you're really prompting people to message you first, you can change that button to a number of things, whether it's visit website or um, book an appointment, like you can kind of change it up. I would test what putting the message button there looks like, because especially if you're a clinic or a practice that has more of a consultative approach, people need to get in touch with you first before they can just book on your website. And that's a great place to start having those conversations and just as a baseline, Messenger is such an incredible way to really have more of that intimate one-on-one conversation with your ideal client and your audience, because a lot of people may not want to ask a question right in the comments or um, kind of potentially have that public outfacing thing where people go, oh, she's looking at this type of procedure or this type of service. And some people want to be a little bit more private, especially depending on what you offer. And Messenger is a great place to kind of informally have that initial conversation and uh, build the relationship where someone already is. You're not making them have to reach out to you. It doesn't have to be this kind of process. They can just easily tap into contacting you right there on the platform, which is why it's so powerful. But in terms of the strategy with Facebook or on Instagram, you have to ask people (laughs) to DM you. They're not necessarily always going to do it. You have to prompt the question or the ask of, hey, send us a DM if you're interested or send us a DM if you have any questions. Uh, DM me with your thoughts on this. And you have to start prompting that. really important call to action. Yes. Yeah, a CTA or a call to action. Mm -hmm. You have to tell your audience what you want them to do. And that's, you know, like ending a post with whatever the CTA is. Mm-hmm. super important. And yeah, send us a DM for more information. That's send us a DM to get your appointment booked. Send us a DM to see if you're a candidate for this treatment. Um, yeah. That's a great way, a great way. So what, what do you think is the biggest difference between Facebook and Instagram when it comes to messenger marketing? So that's a great question. I think Instagram has really, the DMs over on Instagram have really like beefed up to become a Um, there's just a lot of little tools over on Instagram that are making it more like Facebook because messenger has been a big uh, piece of the Facebook platform for a couple of years now. And um, it's just very easy. People know to go to their messenger when they are having a one-on-one conversation that's kind of been baked into that platform since the beginning. Um, Instagram didn't introduce DMs right off the bat. And now in your stories, you can even include a DM sticker on your stories that says DM me, someone clicks the sticker and it pops them over to an inbox. So I think in Instagram, it's a little bit easier to get people into your inbox because all of your interactions via stories go over to your DM. So if you're looking at Facebook, Facebook, someone has to be very intentional about starting the conversation with you. They have to click that DM button. They have to go to their messenger and, and, you know, or click the message button over on Instagram. Anytime someone, you know, reacts to your story or, um, comments on your story, it immediately goes into a DM conversation. So I think DMs are almost a little easier to get started on Instagram. And that's where you can start fostering that conversation, especially because if you're communicating with people through stories and then you're reacting, you can see kind of the history of reactions you've had with that particular person. It's a great way to um, 
you can kind of see, oh, this person tends to like my stuff a lot, or this person has commented on a few of my stories. And it gives you that baseline of where you know you're, you're starting from. And something that I love, and both of the platforms have, have this, but in the DMs, you have the ability to leave a voice message. And that for me, a lot of people type and that's great. And you know, there's always a time for that. And especially if you're using many chat or one of these different bots um, that are kind of starting the conversation or giving information, if you're not available, text is great. But I have found that when I get DMs, I like to just respond with a voice message because I think it makes it so personal Mm -hmm. and really forms a deeper connection and you're not getting anything that's lost in translation. So say a client reaches out to you and wants to book an appointment or has questions, you know, how do I prepare for this treatment? Leaving a voice message, it's like, hey, Danielle, so excited to see you on such and such date. I'm emailing you over a list of pre-treatment instructions. You can check out a video here on my IGTV that shows you how to, you know, what to expect for your first Brazilian or whatever it is. You know, there's all of these different kinds of things that you can do, but that just takes the customer service and the connection piece, I think, to a whole new level. And um, I wanted to just throw in there, if you guys have not listened to the episode that we did with Tara Zerker on 10 ways to 10X your revenue using Facebook ads. One of the strategies in there, you don't remember what episode that is off the top of your head, right? Is it 89? Want, well, 91 comes to mind, but then we actually just recently did it as a greatest hits episode. And I wanna say that was 139. Well, yeah, so it's it's with Tara Zerker. If you just search Tara Zerker, it will come up. Um, it's one of our most popular episodes. It's just so much valuable content in there. But one of the strategies is talking about how to use Facebook ads with a call to action of send us a DM, because that is something if you're just dipping your toe into Facebook ads, if you have maybe a a $10 or $20 budget, something like that, you and you don't want to build out an entire funnel or if I say funnel and you're like, what the heck is that? (laughs) <laughs> then what you want to do is start out with boost a post, send us a DM. And that can be just like the very, very basic strategy. And if that gets you a new client, incredible, mm-hmm. well, well worth it. So be sure to check that out and make sure that you're using the call to action, send us a DM. Super, super powerful strategy. Super.